Not only did the club defeat Nord by 53 points to register their biggest ever winning margin against the Redlegs, but it was also a big day for their coach Malcolm Blight because today he notched eight goals to take his season tally to 101 for the season of 1985. He's the first player this season to make it to that magical one century, of course that one ton mark. And he's also the first player in football history to kick 100 goals in the VFL season and also here in a South Australian National Football League season. After the game today, Keith Conlon caught up with Malcolm Blight. Well, Malcolm, uh, congratulations. It's uh, really something that I think all uh, South Australian football followers were delighted to see today, that 100th goal. But let's just ask you, what's it feel like lining up with the 100th goal in sight, but you still got to kick it? Yes, I, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I, I suppose, you, you know, all goals are important in a game of footy, so uh, I don't think there's any great deal of difference placed on it. Um, you know, I've, I've certainly never felt that, but it was good to, to get it over with because uh, there was a lot of supporters... Uh, saying that uh, you only got to kick one more, so that was good to get it up and done with. Now, uh, it is uh, in records now that you're the only player, I think, who's kicked 100 in the VFL and then come back to South Australia and kicked 100 here. Did you ever imagine that you could uh, see your career spreading out the way it has? No, when you first start, um, it's 18 years ago now, and it's a long time, I suppose, but, you know, I've been pretty fortunate, and, uh, you know, I haven't played full forward or in the forward line a great deal, even in Melbourne, and... Uh, even the last couple of years here so it's pleasing to, to finish in the forward line where opportunities come and they must come from other players so that's been pleasing this year it's especially pleasing obviously as the coach to see the, the players uh, giving you the opportunity but uh, let's talk about what a full forward needs or a player playing right up in the forward line needs to kick a hundred goals what are the basic elements that a young player should look for well, I think one of the most important things that you've probably learned over the journey is to, is to be always running to the front. You know, there's a lot, you know, you get a lot of kicks that uh, miss kick under pressure. And, and I think from a quick kick out the centre, I think if you're always working to the front spot, you're always going to be a chance. Uh, coming from behind, you're always fraught with a bit of danger. So I think just to try and keep working to the front spot, um, it takes away a bit of the high mark, but those come along during the day anyhow when the whole thing's set up. So just keep working to the front. Let's talk about some of the players that have helped you to those hundreds, uh, both here and in the state. Uh, what are some of the best players in terms of delivering the ball to you that you've seen over your career? Yes, I, I suppose if, if you said one player, it, it wouldn't be fair on the rest, because I think that there's, there's a lot of players that, given in certain circumstances, and, and that certainly wasn't the way we planned the day to day, it was that, you know, I mean, we had Bob Beecroft playing full forward today, and... You know, Bob's kick five and, you know, it makes a pretty healthy line. So you, you always try and give players options up the ground. Uh, if, at least if you're moving and doing something, you're always an option. And I, as I said, just keep, keep moving. I know that you, you're loath to name particular players, but there must have been some who just delivered it exactly where you needed it most of the time. <laughs> It's, it's very hard, I don't know. <laughs> but, you know, people say you've got a few lace out the day. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's, that's true. You know, the Cracker Boys in uh, Phil in particular was, was very, very good in Melbourne. And, and Wayne Schimmelbush was, was another guy that wouldn't so much look for you but would kick to a spot. And you, you get to know players as, as they go through. And, you know, it would be unfair of me to say anyone at Woodville, really. Uh, Ralph Sue is very, very good at giving the ball off to another player, whether it be myself or somebody else. So I think it's one of those team things, and I'd hate to see see, you know, someone reliant on someone kicking 100 goals. To, and if you take that the next step, is that, you know, you'd like to see a lot more goal kickers. And that's certainly something we've practised over the last uh, six or seven weeks at Woodville. Of course, opponents have got a lot to do with uh, forwards kicking goals. What about some of the hardest opponents you've had to meet over the seasons? I know it's a cliche, Keith, but I've never found an easy one yet. <laughs> um, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, sometimes you go out there and you think, oh, well... You know, perhaps he's not as good as X, Y, Z, and, and you get done. So I, I just think every game is different, and you just go out there and work as hard as you possibly can, no matter who's there. And in terms of longevity, you now, I think, rate as the oldest player uh, playing league footy in South Australia, and it, it makes the uh, defeat all the more uh, uh, wonderful for us to celebrate. But um, what about the sorts of things that a player needs to look to to be able to keep playing? I think you do need a shade of luck with injuries. You know, I, th I think that over the years um, I've certainly had my share and, and illnesses too for that matter. Um, I, you know, I just think keeping enthusiasm up and coming back to Woodville was, you know, I was very enthusiastic about the whole thing. There was a lot of young people here um, and just trying to impart that knowledge and providing you go out in the ground and don't make too many botches yourself that you are trying.